हेलो गाइस, आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली की कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन। टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द ओ टी डी आर विच इज ऑप्टिकल टाइम डोमेन रिफ्लेक्टोमीटर सो एज द टर्म रिफ्लेक्टोमीटर इज देयर इन दिस नेम वी कैन गेस इट इज यूजिंग द रिफ्लेक्शन प्रॉपर्टी एंड द मीटर मीटर वर्ड इट इज गोइंग टू टेल मी दैट इट इज गोइंग टू मेजर समथिंग so we are discussing the optical fibers and the things related to the optical fiber so it is going to give me the characteristics of the optical fiber so it's an opto electronic device which is going to give me various characteristics of the optical fiber which characteristics i can measure using the otdr i can measure the attenuation of the optical fiber i can measure the length of the optical fiber I can measure the various types of losses like if I have the connector when I place the connector in between the two optical fibers I will be having some losses so it is going to tell me how much losses are there due to the connectors due to the attenuation and due to the faults inside the fiber it is going to tell me the exact location of the faults as well so it's an optoelectronic instrument which is going to measure the fiber characteristics right so it is going to tell us about the various abnormalities that are present inside the fiber and we are going to see where the fault is present inside the fiber the exact location of the fault can be found out right so it is going to measure the length of the optical fiber right so if i want to measure what is the exact length i have used for the particular transmission i can measure it with the help of the reflectometer right then we can use here the reflected signal as i already told you its name contains the reflectometer which means we are having the reflected signal and we are having the time domain analysis of the reflected signal so this is the structure of otdr here we will be having a laser we all know what is the functioning of the laser it is going to emit light so it is going to send the light to the circulator so this is my circulator we all know now the functioning of the circulator as well i have already talked about the functioning of the circulator in one of the previous videos so now what happens otdr laser is sending the light to the circulator so now the circulator will be sending this light from this terminal to this terminal only so this light is moving only in one direction it is not going to this terminal so let's suppose this is a terminal this is b terminal and this is c terminal so light from the otdr laser will move only in the one direction from a to b only right so now here we will be sending the transmitted signal this blue signal is a transmitting signal which is sent to the fiber under test this is my fiber under test right so now here in the fiber under test i will be having various types of connectors we will be having various faults or the degradation in the signal would be happening due to the attenuation so now when we have the scattering or when we have the fault this signal light signal will be scattered back side so this back side scattered signal is a return signal right the light signal can scatter in any of the direction and here we will be having a back side signal as well so this back side signal is known as the return signal which comes back to the circulator now we know circulator is only a one directional device so now input is at the b terminal it is going to send it to only the c terminal so now here at the c terminal we have connected a photo detector and now we are sending the return signal to the photo detector now we know the operation of the photo detector photo detector are the diodes which are taking the light signal and they are converting it into the electrical form so this photo detector will be converting this optical signal into the electrical signal so here we will be having the optical signal right so this optical signal at this location it will be converted into the electrical signal 
right so this electrical signal is fed to the signal processor the signal processor is going to make this signal in accordance to the display device so it is going to process the signal so that display device is going to display this signal so display device will be having the different configuration than the photo detector so signal processor is going to process it in the same configuration in which the display device is working and the display device is going to show the signal which is reflected signal and from the reflected signal we can guess the positioning of the fault right so i hope you understood the structure and with the structure i have already told you the operation in the structure we have otdr laser circulator the optical fiber the photo detector signal processor and display so now we have understood the functionality of all of them so now we have when we have the optical fiber discontinuities so where we have the discontinuities at this initial point when we have the air glass interface or at the place of connector so here let's suppose we have the discontinuity or we have a connector over here so at this point what will happen at the connector we will be having the scattering so at the connector we will be having the refractive index gap and whenever i have the change in the refractive index i will be getting the scattering now scattering i told you the black propagation signal will be generated due to the scattering and we will be generating the return signal the return signal is back propagated and it is going to the photo detector right so after back propagation it is going to the photo detector and after that it is going to the signal processing block and after that it is going to the display so what happens at the display so this kind of signal is shown at the display i have already told you the functioning of the signal processing block it is going to process the signal to form suitable for display devices right so display devices are having separate configuration and signal processors are making it compatible now this is the output that we are shown on the display right so here at the y axis we have the attenuation and on the x axis we have the fiber length right if i want to measure the attenuation so what i will be doing i will be taking the particular length so let's suppose from this length to this length i need to find out the attenuation so what i will be doing from here i will be finding out the attenuation and from here i will be finding out the attenuation with the help of the power difference so we can see the power at the this point initial point and the final point and this is how we can find out the attenuation so now we can find out the various losses as well because we all know that the reflection will be occurring only when the light is scattering back side and the light will be scattering back side when it will be encountering any discontinuity in the fiber under test so when it is back scattered when either it is having a connector or splices or coupler or we can have any type of input so at the input we can have the reflection at the input we have air glass interface so we will be having the back side reflection as well at the connector at the splices right and at the last if the fiber breaks at that time also we will be having backlight scattering so let's understand what are the different things so now initially the signal is having this value because at the input point i told you we have the refractive index gap and due to which we will be having the maximum reflection right so here from this point up to this point we are not having any reflection right we are not measuring any back side reflected signal so at this point to this point i have only attenuation right here at this point we have the sudden change in the slope so it is going to show me the fusion splice so here also we are not getting any reflected signal right reflected signal is not there because scattering will not happen at the fusion splice so now after that we have again a sudden change in the slope so sudden change in the slope again will be showing there is something with the optical fiber under test so it is going to show me here we have the micro bending right again here we will be not having any reflection in the back side right but here you can see we have a sudden change in the signal 
so we have the sudden change in the output level so attenuation first increased very much then it decreased very much so it is showing me the connector and it is showing me we have one more reflected signal coming now so it is showing me that reflected signal has come now now at this point you can see we have the biggest spike so the biggest spike is going to show me the fiber break and we are getting the maximum reflected signal over here if i have a fiber break after that the light will travel or not light will not travel and this is how power is going to decrease till zero right so here we can measure the power we can measure the attenuation with the help of power from the y axis and you can see here we have the power zero so it is going to show me where we have the fault so here we have the fiber break we have the fault over here we can measure it with the help of otdr at exact location we can measure how we can find out the time between the input and the reflected pulse the time between the input and the reflected pulse would be t and we can now find out the distance of the break point from the source d is the distance of the break point it will be equal to c into t upon 2n where n is the refractive index of the core c is the speed of light in the vacuum and t is the time that we have measured between the input and the reflected pulse now the d that we have measured is 2l because the signal is traveling to the fault and it is coming back to the circulator as well so now i hope how we can find out the exact location of the fault now coming to the otdr's dead zone so the dead zone is that particular area or that particular fault location so let's suppose if two faults are very closely spaced right if two connectors are also very closely spaced i can not locate the second connector i can locate the first connector but the second connector i cannot why because if i am sending the signal so the photo detector this here i have placed a photo detector photo detector is a semiconductor it is going to measure the strong reflections right due to the connector we will be having the reflected signal it is going to measure the reflections because of the first connector and it takes time for this measurement and when it is taking time for one measurement if the another reflected signal comes in between during that time only it is not able to measure that signal so now another back reflection during the same time otdr will not be able to measure it and this is how we are getting the dead zone so i hope you understood each and everything that i have discussed in this video if you have any doubt you can put the doubt in the comment and i will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible i hope you like this session if you like it please push the like button subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and also give me your feedback thank you so much